All right, it is now time to take a look at the math section. Now, maths in the IMAT isn't that important. It's only four questions, so that's six marks. However, it is still probably a good idea to at least study some mathematics. For one, a lot of sections actually require you to have some good mathematics skills. For instance, learning logarithms will be helpful in chemistry, learning just how to do basic algebra is helpful in almost all the sections, and so on. So make sure to at least practice some mathematics. Now, here is the official mathematics syllabus. And don't worry, it looks like a lot, but it really isn't. Most of this stuff, pretty much every high school student knows, and you just need to refresh your knowledge. And for that reason, I'm not actually going to do videos on all of these topics. I mean, I don't really see any point in teaching a high school person Pythagoras theorem or basic algebra. I mean, everyone knows that at high school level anyway. I will instead focus the videos on more high yield topics. Now, remember, the majority of your time should be going to biology and chemistry. So don't overstudy mathematics. It's only four questions, so you don't need to learn all this stuff to get a good IMAT score. Now, it helps to be very strategic in mathematics because they aren't going to ask more than one question on one topic. So, for instance, if you hate probability, well, then skip it because it's only going to be a maximum of one question on probability. Now, what is the best way to study mathematics? Well, really, there's no trick to this section. You basically just need to learn the content on the syllabus. You can use iMathBuddy and you should also use some online resources to learn the stuff that you don't know. Really, I don't recommend buying textbooks for this. I mean, it's just basic maths. There's plenty of resources for you. And when it comes to studying, just make sure that you're following the syllabus and that you're doing practice questions because mathematics is a skills based subject. You just need to be able to solve questions and that's it. Now, where can you find practice questions? Well, you can find them pretty much anywhere on the Internet, but you can also specifically find them on iMathBuddy. These are going to be iMath style questions. Of course, there will be IMAT style questions in past IMAT papers. And the BMAT also has a math section, which also kind of mirrors the IMAT. So these are the places where you should practice. And really, that is all there is to the math section. Now, you have to get used to doing maths without a calculator. That's probably the only difficult part. But besides that, it's actually quite easy. The level of maths assessed is not advanced at all. 